hi guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to discuss an article that says government considering new alignment to replace junction route now if you can remember now the road between kingston and junction in saint mary a part of it was recently renovated and it was delayed by years years and the reason why it was such a topic of discussion is because a local contractor was used not china harbor engineering company and basically the road is finished now between prop broadgate and junction in saint mary but it was it caused such delays that the discussion was if China Harbor Engineering Company was used, would the road have been, would it have taken so long? And also that road project started very close. Well, okay, we're not going to go there. But now this article that we're going to discuss today is saying that the government is considering building a new road changing the alignment government considering new alignment to replace junction route so they want to build a new road from kingston to junction so let's go through the article and then we discuss it after the government is considering a new alignment to replace the existing roadway from kingston to saint mary via the junction route Prime Minister, the Most Honourable Andrew Holness, made a disclosure during Friday's handover of the new Port Maria fire station. He noted that investments have been made in repairing part of the road, but it is a treacherous area to work in because of the soil type. What it would require to do, what it would require to do the entire stretch. To build it in such a way that you can guard against all the potential risks of slippage both from the hillside and the riverside would be a massive expenditure. What we are now doing is trying to identify a new path because it may be that we have to build an entire, entirely new stretch of road to connect. Coming from Stony Hill using maybe the same direction, same path but not the same alignment he noted. The Prime Minister said that no amount of patching can repair the existing road or give it a guarantee of long-term service, noting that the road has outlived its useful life. He said that similar investment to the one being made on the Southern Coastal Highway Improvement Project, which stretches from Harborview in Kingston through St. Thomas and to Port Antonio, may have to be made. At the same time, he is urging Jamaicans to appreciate that some of the challenges being faced with, re with regard to the roadways cannot be solved overnight. All those roads were built 80 years ago. None of them were built to the standards that we expect now. When they were built, no one thought that they would be carrying the volume of traffic that they are carrying. Those were tracks that were traversed by donkey carts. They were never built with the sub-base and the revampments and retaining walls that are necessary. So we will have to make new investments in those roads, Mr. Holness said. He indicated that in his budget presentation later this year, he will speak on some more. He will speak more on how we intend to treat with that. All right, guys, that's the end of the article. Now I find. This article very interesting for two reasons. One, the highway that he spoke about, the Southern Coastal Highway, it's a very expensive project. And to spend that kind of money from, on a road from Kingston to Junction, when you have the Southern Coastal Highway that you can drive on, I just find it a bit strange. And the second thing, that I find interesting is these issues that they talk about did they not know about them before they gave out the contract to rehabilitate the road 
a few years ago? Are these issues new? So let's go through this a little, in a little bit more detail. Now, you can drive along the entire coast of Jamaica from Harborview to Port Antonio on the Southern Coastal Highway, which is a four lane dual carriageway, very modern road, looks like it's the best, one of the best roads in Jamaica. It looks like Highway 2000 that takes you from Kingston to Ocherius. So if you have that route that can take you from Harborview, which is in Kingston, to Port Antonio, why would you see it necessary to build to spend that kind of money to build a road from Kingston over Stony Hill or via Stony Hill to Junction, which then takes you into Port Antonio. It's, it's good to build roads, don't get me wrong, but so many other roads could be fixed with that kind of money. And you have the Southern Coastal Highway. And then, the, so the Southern Coastal Highway is going to run from Harborview to Port Antonio. And that's scheduled to be finished in 2025. And then from Port Antonio, or in Port Antonio, the Southern Coastal Highway will merge with the Northern Coastal Highway, which takes you from Port Antonio all the way back to Negril. That road runs from, runs through Portland, through St. Mary, through St. Anne, through Trelawney, through St. James, through Hanover, into Westmoreland. So, and that road is being upgraded between Montego Bay and Ocherius. It's going to become a four lane dual carriageway, very similar to the Southern Coastal Highway. So it's not that you don't have highways you can drive on to move around the island. So I'm not sure if to spend this kind of money is this is the right time to do it because so many roads need fixing. So many roads and you can basically drive from Kingston to Negril on the north coast of Jamaica on a highway quality roads. So, and the road from the southern coastal highway that he spoke about, saying that the Kingston to Junction route would probably cost, wait, let me not put words. He said that similar investment to the one being made on the Southern Coastal Highway Improvement Project, which, which stretches from Harborview in Kingston through St. Thomas to Port Antonio may have to be made. Right, that's the part that we're talking about. I don't see it necessary to spend that kind of money on a road from Kingston to Junction or Kingston to St. Mary when you have the Southern Coastal Highway that can take you there in probably less time because it's a highway so or maybe the time distance might be a little different because you're running along the coast but so many other roads need to be fixed that that's what we're saying maybe this is not the time to spend that kind of money on the road from Kingston or basically the Junction Road all right guys let us know what you think Leave your comments in the section below. Have a good day.